grand rising to my king queen gods and goddesses it is your boy terrible one star gotta break it down to all my virgo summon rising north node and venus now this is a disclaimer this is a general reading take it as it resonates if it resonates for you make sure you hit that like comment subscribe and share button now i try to be the best reader that i can for you if not hey i try to do what i can hey what that basically being said virgo the title of this one is stop dwelling on the past the blessings are right in front of you okay stop dwelling on the past virgo because your blessings are right in front of you so virgo when i was doing meditation i was going deep down into a, a deep trance right and spirit kept on showing me about patience being humble not only being humble and being patient will probably be the key for you but you also got to watch the people that you around right now yes it's people still trying to benefit off of you yes it's people still trying to use you but i feel like now virgo you are more aware and more focused on the things that you need to do in order to learn from the cycles and in order to grow and towards the positive aspect that you need to be so with that basically being said let's go ahead and get in some of the downloads i don't have my paper with me virgo so y'all gotta work with me i had to use my laptop on this one so with that basically being said let's go ahead virgo now some of you are going out with the old and in with the new okay so now you are realizing that the lessons that you need to learn in your life has been completed for you in order to extend or to grow however virgo some type of experiences that you may be going through has created a small mental blockage within your mind when it comes to manifesting the things that you need to excel the way that you want it to go Okay, now Virgos, there are some people still around you that secretly still trying to uh, win off of your accolades, win off your talents, win off your gifts, and as well as some people still around here trying to steal some of your ideas so they can have the beneficial gain or, or the glory of it. Okay, Virgo. Now, Spirit has been uh, having you going through some type of transition uh, about something the way that it needs to be. You may be understanding the lessons or the cycles like, okay, yeah, I know things are not working out. Spirit, you thank you for allowing me and gratitude to show me the things that I need to go through. And that's how your blessings are start coming to you because you are lifted some of the blockages mentally as well as some of the blockages by changing your algorithm within yourself into a positive aspect. Okay. Now, not only that, uh, you're getting blessed off of being obedient. You've been following spirit. You've been very intuitive. Now, uh, not only that, some of you may decide to be in some type of isolation state where you may be contemplating on some some type of decision that you know that's going to be life changing or helping you grow. I feel like right now, uh, some things that you may be going through right now, emotionally, you're becoming more stable. Uh, right now, you're not letting nobody manipulate you. Like you are the master of everything that's in your grasp right now like even people being around you your friends and this that and the other you won't let many people get close but the ones you do let get close you know everything about them and even though you got to watch out for some of these people be careful how you talk to some of your people who you think they so-called friends because they may not be wanting the main thing that you want which is growth okay now spirit want me to also tell you that uh you uh stop dwelling on mental negative thoughts Virgo okay like don't beat yourself up over past choices or past uh, challenging situations understand the lesson that's what need to go on harness on the things that you need in order to learn and to become more better okay so them are some of the downloads we are not going to meditation for right now uh, until we get back to uh, different locations right now I didn't bring it with me so spirit guys in the universe we thank you right now for every Virgo coming to the channel and also cross watcher lead us guide us Give us the blueprint and the understanding towards our highest good and highest expectations. Now, if anybody wishes any ill will mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, or emotionally, what we're going to do, we're not going to send that back to the sender. Instead, we send that back to the universe in abundance of love. Okay? Ashe. Ashe. Amen. All right. So, Virgo, let's go ahead and see what some of the energy that we got about somebody's dwelling. Let's see what your energy is and let's see what's going on. Okay? Spirit guys in the universe. Thank you. What else do we have for Virgo? Summer rising north node and Venus or wherever it is that in your chart. If it's meant for you, if you come to me, if you come and run across this reading, it's meant for you, okay? Spirit guys in the universe, what else do we have for Virgo? Summer rising north node and Venus. I'll show you. 
So Virgo, I feel like right now you are tapping more into your emotions, Virgo. So we got the Knight of Cups basically being upright, clarified by the Strength card basically being in reverse. So Virgo, this is letting me know that right now something may be going on in your life. You may be starting to overcome from being a genuine risk within yourself when it comes to tapping into your emotions. When it comes to you being uh, having that more of an investment of the things that you love or the things that you cherishable of or being more intuitive. Now you are starting to understand that you are believing more into yourself. Thank you, Spirit. And the reason why you believe in more into yourself and not becoming a risk because you start to be more analytical about the choices that you make. You start to be more perceptive. You starting to look down, Virgo, and look at the fine details like the crossing T's and dotting I's and contracts. You are looking at the fine print even when it comes to people around you dealing with relationships and all of that as well. So, Virgo, what you got to understand is the more that you start tapping into your own emotions and stop being a risk with Within yourself, the more you can see things clearly, the more you can start understanding more about the way that you need to move when it comes to love, the way you need to move when it comes to being more intuitional, the way you need to move when it comes to being more patient and being more balanced when it comes to your emotional state is because right now you're walking towards the future in purity. Now, the Knight of Cups basically being upright is clarified by the Six of Cups basically being upright, the Eight of Pentacles upright, and we got the Six of uh, Swords basically being uh, upright as well. So Spirit is letting me know you are starting to tap more into your energy uh, instead of dwelling on the past. Yes, you are starting to tap more into your emotions, focus on the future. Now, not only that, you are starting to uh, go through past experiences that you're starting to tap in. You're starting to understand about the past reoccurring cycles that may have been going into your life because the reason why Virgo is right now because you're starting to understand how to turn the door or how to make doors open up for you when you're getting out of the poverty situation. Situations. The changes you are going through, you are buckling down and you are starting to uh, harness more of your energy towards yourself. And the reason why you are doing that as well, because you're being more intuitive. You are starting to understand that with these reoccurring cycles, spirit wants you to sit back and understand and be more intuitive, be more patient, be more of the, uh, the spiritual insight person that you have by using your gifts. And you start to walk away from some type of situations. Now, here we go. It's a two way street, Virgo. Now, some of you are walking away for things for your good and some of you are walking away from your things because you don't want to deal with the triggers okay now the reason why because like you are walking away from things going towards if you're dealing with an air sign you may be walking away from a gemini libra aquarius we also got uh leo in this we also got uh virgo capricorn Taurus that you could be dealing with or these could be your placements but i feel like right now you are walking away from the things that no longer suits you or you are walking away from things that may be scared to trigger you going towards your happiness okay now now now, I also want to say, Virgo, even though the more that you tapped into yourself, right, even though you were going through the more subconscious changes, right now you're being more analytical to not to go through any type of grief or go through any type of self-pity, okay? And the reason why, Virgo, again, because you are going through old record uh past past traumatic experiences or for some of you or some of you may be going dealing with a past partner or past people that had you in a poverty situation so you start to change you start to open that door to find the key into your life and the reason why because you're seeking for balance you're seeking more of a unity you're seeking more of this yin and this yang type of energy if it's dealing with business you are doing that on an aspect to help you grow if it's dealing with relationships you are tapping more into your uh, emotional self to start loving yourself even more while you are buckling down and you are going through the changes, it's away from people that's trying to be chaotic, people that's trying to control you. I feel like Virgo, you are starting to no longer feel sad and grief and envious or uh, people may be feeling envious over you. That's a small word for envious. But I feel like people may have been trying to take control and you not letting them take control of you no more because on a spiritual sense, with the Queen of Swords basically being upright, you are being, even on your spiritual plane, you are being more analytical about who you give your energy into. You being more uh, cold-hearted about the ones who you done gave your choice because the new opportunities that's coming in for you spiritually you are going through a healing process okay everything that you are doing in your life you are walking away from anything that's not suitable for you and you are starting to fix the person within during this healing process you are starting to be more in harmony with yourself accepting yourself for who you are how you are the way that you walk the way that you move because Virgo you are starting to know your value you starting to know your purpose but however the more you dwell on this past type of situation the more you're going to have to be more precise about the things that you need to do in your life, okay? Now, we got the star card basically being in reverse, so that is letting me know right now, Virgo, you need to be more precise. Again, don't be a genuine risk within yourself.
help uh, allow spirit to let you go through these healing phases because you never know. You may be moving away from a blessing that's right there because spirit probably wants you to go through and overcome over these challenges so the other people can receive their karma so you can receive your recognition and your victory, okay? Now, all right, let's see what else that we got for you. Spirit guys in the universe, what else do we have for Virgo? Ashe, what else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus? Ashe, give me one more. What else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus? So, Virgo, I feel like right now, a cross watcher, whoever's watching this is for anybody, make sure you hit that like button as well. Now, I feel like it may be challenging for you right now while you're going through some type of frustrations or where you may be going through some type of grief. Or not only that, it may be somebody that uh, may be having tensions that's rising. And the reason why the temperature and the tensions are rising with you right now, because they are jealous that you are elevating, Virgo. You got spirit guiding you for this change. You got spirit giving you the information and the wise counsel and the blueprint to help you reach your abundance. This, okay, so somebody may be jealous because you're reaching your abundance, you're reaching stability, you are breaking accolades, and you being very intellectual about it. Like you learn from the give and take from your past experiences, Virgo. So I feel like if you gave somebody some information up in your past, Virgo, and then they took that against you, you no longer give information no more. And I feel like what it is, you are starting to think before you react because you are leveling up so overwhelmingly that's going on into your life, Virgo, is because that with this new legacy and this new abundance, you are walking away from anything that's not not long no longer being there for you or there uh somebody may be around you upset because you are working on your legacy you're working on stability you're working on that new promotion you're working on that that new cycle of abundance and now you are walking away from those who tried to turn around and keep you frustrated okay now not only that you're being more intellectual and you being more stern virgo now about the choices that you're making even your actions dealing with people who want to bring discord anybody who want to bring something and sour into your life because you're starting to think before you react. Now, Virgo, this is one thing I'm proud of you about because the more you start thinking for you, like when you think Virgo and you see all areas of an aspect, you know how to go through it more and more gradually. So, for example, if you know a person that's turning around uh, cheating on you and you know they got doing whatever they're doing, let's say like that. I hate to say it like that. It's not for resonating. I'm just saying it as an example. So let's say somebody cheating on you. So instead of you blowing up and keep telling them everything that they keep doing over and over, you starting to step back and start observing like, okay, you need to catch him in a more situation. Or if it's coming with a job, you know this person is trying to get over on you to get that uh, that, that CEO position or, or, or that accolade to level up, but they know you the one who's doing the work. So it's just like, you got to understand people still trying to steal your stuff, still people trying to steal, kill, steal, destroy you. That's, that's like the devil move when it comes to a religious aspect. But at another point, you are starting to make the decisions to the great decisions and most valid decisions to think before you react instead of just jumping off your popping your top and that's what's helping you allow uh, be more aligned with spirit in order to help you grow i feel like right now you hanging on to the things that you need to hang on to however somebody may be hanging on to trying to get over on you for too long okay and that's why i said the blessings right there in front of you virgo because you are hanging on to what you need to hang on if it's your purpose okay but you being more smart you being more diligent about it you are no longer just letting anybody take over you because right now you going over so many options and so many accolades right now you getting the information and the knowledge to look at these options very very carefully even when it comes to your healing so right now you just not jumping in any type of situation virgo i also feel like right now what's going on with the knight of swords basically being in reverse as well you know people doing some gossip and manipulation and you know you can't trust the situation or you may be feeling like you can't trust yourself when it comes to the information or the knowledge that you need in order to move spirit woman to tell you right now you are sending so you have understood the healing lesson that you need to mending yourself back together from you being more analytical and perceptive in the way that you walk dealing with these certain type of individuals and now what's going on you cannot let your attitude get in the way okay so spirit is giving you a lesson dealing with attitude so this is why when the tensions may rise you are still leveling up because you understanding how to focus on yourself more and your blessings are getting poured in even faster right now more than when you had to help somebody else now I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with networking. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with collabing. I feel I'm just saying, Virgo, you at to that point of understanding now how to get through experiences and cycles in your life dealing with these type of individuals or dealing with this type of energy because you finally got the blueprint or you've been seeing the blueprint and now you are starting to walk in your own lane. Spirit guys in the universe, what else do we have for Virgo? 
So I feel like right now, yeah, somebody may be trying to win at all costs. Somebody may be trying to keep fuse and fights with you to the things that you are compassionate about because somebody wants your energy, Virgo. I feel heavy on that. And I feel like if somebody try to make promises to you or try to make something that's supposed to be met, the demands and needs are not being met the way that it needs to be in your life, creating the actions that you are taking. So now you're getting the understanding, Virgo, with the two of swords basically being in reverse. Yes, you got blindsided by it. Yes, you're getting the understanding. And now you start to make the decisions to stop being frustrated to stop keeping yourself in a mental bondage in a mental state Virgo in order to keep pushing forward so spirit is saying that whoever this energy that's around is trying to win at all costs and you are understanding so now you even though you know the needs have not been met or the plans have not been met with you with the six of pentacles but clarified by the two of wands basically being upright I feel like right now you finding your stability into looking out you're trying to find more stable grounds more stable waters about this person who's trying to win at all costs and I feel like that's how you are getting your blessing as well because because you standing on it. You know you can't trust this person. So you know with the setback and the lack of direction, it was hard for you to expand with this job, expand with this individual, expand in this cycle, trying to learn a lesson that you need with yourself until you got the understanding that you need from the warnings that's been coming in through spirit. Now, the good thing about this is the sun card is still out here. So it's not a bad thing when it's in reverse. It's just sitting up and saying it's more delays and warnings on the things that you need for this new starting point. But right now, I feel like with the tensions that's rising with somebody trying to win at all costs, it's creating some type of lack of passion, a lack of commitment, or a lack thereof, Virgo, that makes you want to run away. So I feel like right now, you're finding your best interest and the best thing that's nurturing for you going towards your wish fulfillment, Virgo. So that's what makes everything so beautiful. What else do we have for Virgo? Make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe button as well. What else do we have for Virgo? Let's see. Hold on, y'all. I got y'all. Spirit guys in the universe. What else do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Northern Venus. So I feel like right now, Virgo Spirit woman to tell you, it may be time for you to take that time out and reflect and look at the things that you need. Because the more you dwell on the past, the more you harness these negative emotions or the traumatic experiences, you still letting that energy go up in your manifestations. So take a time out for yourself. See what's good for you. See what you need and allow yourself to flow with your inner peace. OK, 444 may be very significant for you as well. So I feel like right now, incubate yourself, Virgo. Be more at peace. Turn around and find out the things that you need to help yourself grow right now you need to understand that even with dark cycles or the dark night of the soul however you want to call it even though with dark moments is the ending cycles to always something new so i feel like right now virgo you getting the understanding that you need and spirit is guiding you through this and spirit is helping you out so i feel like right now you being more of that pure light and you being more of that star once you shine bright like that diamond that you are now not only that not only that you are shining the more that you flow in your inner peace this is the blessings that you're getting some of y'all are superstars some of y'all know a big abundance coming in that legacy is coming in for you great things are coming in for you once you get away from this immature naive energy take that genuine leap of faith and stay away from those who's trying to stop birth and help Stay away from those who's trying to stop you from birthing into a new aspect of you because they are scared. They cannot do it on their own. On their own, because you are very victorious. You are very uh, have the recognition and everything to excel and shine. Okay, Virgo. So with that basically being said, Virgo, let's go ahead and get a couple of affirmations before we close up out of here. And yes, this is the reading. It's a very very beautiful reading. So right now, I see right now everything that you are going through is going in perfect harmony. So the first one that we're going to work on, I'm going to follow with spirit. I deserve a beautiful, spacious, comfortable home. I deserve a beautiful, spacious, comfortable home. Ashe, ashe. Now, your next one is, I am looked after by my spirit guides and loved ones who have passed over. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Now, all right. I am being, uh, I am a being of divine light full of unlimited potential. I'm a being of divine light full of unlimited potential. Ashe, ashe, ashe. And my body is healthy, full of vitality. My body is healthy. Full of vitality. I say, I say, I say. And let's get this last one. I love money. And money loves me, okay? I love money. Money loves me. I say, I say, I say. So, Virgo, stop dwelling on the past. Let's just say it like this. Stop dwelling on the past. Make sure you stay focused. Whatever it is in the past, it's a learning lesson. You can't go back and change yesterday uh, once you move forward from to the next day, okay? So, the only thing we can do is try to make ourselves better to the best way we can, to our full capability, to our fullest function. So, if this resonates for you, hit that like, comment, subscribe button. I just want to say, I love you. God love you. The universe love you. Make sure you love yourself. That's the most important thing. 
thing on the channel. If you want a personal, it is in the description box below. Get at me. If you want to set an appointment, we can set it up, screenshot, send it to me, text the number, okay? And then we can set up everything from there. So I just want to say peace, love, and light, light, love, and peace. Till I see y'all beautiful souls to the next time, make sure y'all hit that like button. Till I see y'all again. Ashe, Ashe, Amen. Yep.